All right, welcome back to Midwest Whitetail. We are back down here on Area 52. It's November 12th. We got a strong southwest wind tonight, so we came back to that hang and hunt set that we did about a week and a half ago. Um, and we had that encounter with that dog that really ruined a lot of stuff that night. But uh, I left this stand in this location because it sets up really good for a south wind. And essentially this hang and hunt has essentially become a more of a permanent set at this point in time. So just to have a few more locations for us to hunt down here on Area 52 now that we're concentrated on this farm specifically. It's warm tonight. I went ahead and layered up. Um, we're in here what seems like early tonight. And I think the reason why it seems like it's early is that uh, last time we were down here, we didn't get set up until about 4.30 and we were running pretty late. But we had a really great hunt and uh, Pretzel and T-Bone have still both been really active on camera. So I think that this, uh, this is a spot where we're probably more likely to encounter uh, that buck I call Pretzel just because he's been showing up on this camera a little bit more frequently. It's a warm night. The wind is supposed to calm down a little bit before dark, but uh, should be a nice, easy sit. Uh, not freezing the whole time. Well, it'll be a nice change for that. That's the buck that's been doing all the grunting and stuff.
just now doing her update and uh, our update is also our closer tonight man it was a good hunt we had a lot of rut activity tonight saw a lot of different bucks actually two different bucks that i would have shot tonight and it's two deer that i haven't really talked about a whole lot because uh one of them hasn't been around a whole lot there's that buck that i call that has a big flyer that i was calling him french fry but uh, we haven't seen him in a while i've never never actually seen him in person he looked pretty good tonight and uh there's a really wide 12 pointer that came down and uh I didn't know if we'd have any encounters. He's been more common up on my neighbor's property than he has down here, but geez, he looked super wide down there tonight. My neighbor John and I, we've been back and forth on how old that deer is, and uh, I think he might be right. I think he's five and a half, but good hunt tonight. I mean, it was really cool to see all that rut activity. We're gonna get packed up and head back to the truck while uh, the field's clear and uh, make a plan for the rest of this week. Appreciate you guys being with us.